Think about what they were doing. Scaring the hell out of you. With, we need to go and kill them, weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein killed his own people. It was nothing but lies, lies, lies. He killed his own people when he was at war with Iran. And the United States is the one who advised him to use chemical weapons and gave him chemical weapons. When the Iranians put up a one million army and one million men were going actually against the Iraqi soldiers, that's when the United States said, hey, look, we have a solution for you. Now, at the time when Iraq did use those chemical weapons, the United Nations condemned Iraq, and it was going to take some sanctions against Iraq. Who stood up and protected Iraq and vetoed the resolutions against Iraq? It was the United States. The same United States that used that to go and attack Iraq. Oh, we need to go. He killed his own people with chemical weapons. We've got to go and get rid of them before he comes and kill us on our own streets. That was at a time when Iraq actually lost 500,000 children, not at war, but during the 12-year siege that the United States put him under, put Iraq under, after the Gulf War. Those children died due to lack of nutrition and uh, uh, malnutrition and lack of medicine. And when Albright was asked about that at the time, she was the Secretary of State, when they asked her, hey, 500,000 Iraqi children died, her answer was, that was collateral damage. As if the objective is to go and take a regime out, but it doesn't matter what happens in the meantime to the people, to the innocent civilians that are protected under the same laws that we always say the international community. Well, the international community says it's against international community standards and against the Geneva Convention to use, the Fifth Geneva Convention, to use white phosphorus. We used it in Iraq. Israel used it in Gaza. Depleted uranium, the same thing. Israel used it. The United States used it. So we're telling people there are international laws you cannot do. But then when we do it, when Israel does it, no one there to say, who's going to punish the United States? Who? Who's going, what do you do? What do you do? Nothing. So the human mentality so don't blame people when they take actions. The human mentality is, it doesn't matter, you know, forget about this BS called civilizations. That's BS. You know, feed that to the rats. There's no civilizations. There's no civilized world. No. Underneath, it's nothing but garbage. Civilized world does not do this. Civilized world is not controlled by thugs, by Zionist thugs that control 300 million Americans to use them to fight these wars. Who's doing anything to that? No, nobody. The media? The media is not going to do anything because the media is part of the whole formula. The media is the number one enemy of the so-called civilized world because the media keeps the truth away from you. With the Sean Hannity's and the Rush Limbo's and the Bill O'Reilly's and this judge on uh, uh, Fox, Judge Jeanine. I mean, who put that thing on? I have no idea, but she's gotta go. But many of you probably like the garbage that she puts out or Michelle Milkins, or uh, especially, uh, what's her name, um, Coder. Anyway, that's beyond the scope of tonight's program. In summary, 
And to end this program with, there's no such a thing as terrorists and good people. People, if, you can, if they can do something, they're going to do it under any name, individually or collectively. And what we have, the, the misery that the United States have caused to the people of Iraq and still caused to the people of the Middle East, that's, we are responsible collectively for that misery. Are you a victim? Well, maybe you look at it and you say, what can I do? I'm only one. So you want to play the victim. So you've been victimized as a United States citizen that the government lied to you and that the uh, media lied to you. But you see, we can't, I mean, the government is all we got. Because at the end, we have to feel safe. And the only way, what are we going to do, you know, uh, criticize our government and think that our government is uh, a traitor to the country? No way. Who's going to think that? That the United States would, con would destroy the reputation of the United States and the American people and what they fought for or thought fought for freedom? Democracy, that's not what democracy and freedom, that to me is captivity. Because if we are doing what others want us to do against our own principles, but at the time, because we're stupid enough not seeing that it is our, against our own principles, we go and do it. Now, do we see a responsibility from the media to go back and say, wait a minute, we don't buy this BS that George Bush did not know that our intelligence services made a mistake, as George Bush said at the time, that, oh, when they found out that, hey, there's no weapons of mass destruction with Iraq. You know what he said? He said, oh, that's the intelligence I had. Of course, he was lying. And we told you that on this station, when he said it, the day he said it, we told you, I still remember it. I still remember it. When he said, they asked him about it. It's like, hey, look, you went and killed all these people. A million Iraqis died. There's no weapons of mass destruction. Oh, well, that's the in intelligence that I received. No, it's a lie. We knew it's a lie. And our intelligence budget is $2. George Bush's intelligence budget was $10 billion. And we knew it, and he didn't. But then after he got out, he goes on uh, to write a book saying that, yeah, he would have done it again. And everybody in the country is applauding. He took a tour, sold millions of books, I guess, made money for being a traitor to the country? Only in America. Only in America. And I'm sure after he's dead, we're probably going to have probably a statue or a memorial, and we're probably building the, his own li uh, library, or maybe it's built, maybe it's his dad, I don't know. I don't know if we do that while they're still living or if we do that after they, uh, they're dead. But... Uh, He's not, no one's taken responsibility for this. No one. The majority of the country still thinks that what we did in Iraq was pretty good. We have removed Saddam Hussein. That's it? We sent the country back into the Stone Ages with millions, millions of people displaced, wounded, dead. And look at what we have done to our economy and to the thousands of people, American people. For what? Give me one benefit. Just one benefit. I don't need ten. We spend trillions of dollars that we don't even have. We borrowed trillions of dollars. That's why we have huge deficit now. Sixteen trillion because of the war. 
And who's to be responsible? No one. We're still applauding George Bush. We're still applauding all these people. We still have, they're still roaming the skies of America on all the channels, Rumsfeld, Cheney. They're still regurgitating the same lies, and we still look up to them. Well, we are not such a nice country as we like to be. Face it. Face it. What we have done to Iraq and the Iraqis is horrible. And they're going to be with that mess of depleted uranium for the rest of their lives, many years to come. That's all we have for you. Good night. Go do the right thing.